Most people in life are looking for how do I make a life worth living and a retirement worth having. In order to find your partner in life, it's always best to consult God. When people want to use their mentality on life to make decisions about the relationships they do and don't have in their life, especially in the areas of intimacy, they often miss out on the loves of their life. If they've been provided information about someone by someone else that has impacted their feelings or their standing ovations for someone before they had a chance to discover it themselves or be informed themselves, then they have already tainted what God was planning to do for them. You see, some people need to have marvelous surprises and some people need to be practicing the compassion that the Lord expects them to. But when you expect someone to tell you something that you already know, but you're trying to play them into a show, they will not do that for you. God guides people in what they say if they are linked to the house of the Lord. And God guides people to the right people in their life because they need them every day. But when you think you don't need someone and then you discover you need someone, you can't continue to play with them. And in life we have moments of time to speak the truth of what we know and what we were told and what we heard to repair relationships and decide what kind of person we're going to be in front of the house of the Lord. In life we have moments of time to be everything to someone or nothing to someone. We have everything in life is not true because most people are not living in any form of life balance. And life balance is I'm at peace with my God. And when I'm at peace with my God I am listening fully to the Lord. I am able to follow the words of the Holy Ghost speaking to me saying, let's not go there today. Let's just go off and have a good time. Let's just go off and play. And let's just go off and let our souls intertwine. And if there's a point in that period of time of spending a couple weeks together that we feel some intimacy starting to incline, then openly we have the right to say yes. And of course, we have the right to say no, but maybe God wants us to say yes anyway and maybe it's the best thing in our life that day but if we're trying to play with someone one time and walk away that can harm people every day what I'm talking about is really meant for one person but what I'm saying to you is God can provide anything I need at any time and all the lessons that I've received over the last five years from the people who've been harassing haranguing and interfering with me are worth more to me than anything else in life but there is one person, possibly two, that I feel is everything to me. And that one person turned my head to the Lord's house and gave me the gifts that I have today. What I mean by the gift of what I have today is that she actually showed me and she was the only person in my life at that time that was talking a little bit about God. She was also herself in struggle and one of her casual co-workers showed her that event. And at that event, she purchased a pendulum, and she kept talking about it, and I didn't understand it. And I said, why don't you bring it over? And she did almost promptly. And she let me have it, and she let me try it. And after that, my life changed, because I asked the Lord two questions that day, and I guarantee she knew what I asked. I guarantee he whispered it to her, that he's asking about your love of him. And the other question I asked was pretty straightforward. Will she ever love me like that? And the pendulum moved in such a huge way that she better fucking know what God planned that day. In life, we have moments of time to speak the truth, and the voyeurs on a life have no proof for their life. The voyeurs on a life are voyeuring from the outside looking in, but the man who loves you is always looking at his life from the inside looking out. And what will your attachment to his life your relationship to him in front of the God most high produce. And the promises of the Lord are worth more than the promises of man.